Okay guys, I'm back with part two of what to look for in the thrift stores when you're selling on eBay. Um, I ran out of time with my last video, so I'm starting this one, and hopefully I sound a little more energized. I just ate my leftover pad thai, like three brownies, and an apple while I was waiting for the other video to upload. So um, that's pretty much how I eat every day, whatever's in the fridge is game. <laughs> I am a horrible cook. Okay, so I was starting to talk about the Laurel Birch items. Um, you can find a lot of Laurel, Laurel Birch things, like she'll make earrings and purses and all sorts of stuff, but the, the thing that you really want to look for are the mugs um, or the plates or bowls. I'm really mad at myself. Last week I, or was it last, no, it was like two weeks ago, I found a bowl and it was $2.99 which I turned my nose up to and I shouldn't have. Even when I looked it up, I had seen that they sold for $25, but um, it was really dirty and I think I was just, I just didn't want to deal with it that day. Um, I went back the next day to get it and it was gone. Uh, and all I needed to do was use a magic, Mr. Clean Magic Eraser to clean it up. It would have come out like brand spanking new looking, but whenever you see something in a thrift store and it like it really catches your eye and you just know that you should get it just get it I, I did it last week too with a, a Hawaiian shirt that I really really liked and I was like oh four ninety nine, no because Goodwill really makes me angry with their prices I don't know I mean I know everyone else is aware of it but this is all kinda new to me because before when I went to the thrift store it was when I was looking for um, I don't know, just things for a Halloween costume, and everything there was like 25, 50 cents, and now it's all skyrocketed, I guess, because of people like us, but it's not fair. So, here you go. Here I have selected, uh, do I have it used? Let's see. Let's click used, because we're most likely only going to find used things. I have highest... Price plus shipping first, just to show you uh, the potential that Laurel Birch things have. <clears throat> um, excuse me. Let's see. Let's. I wanted to show you something. Okay, this mug right here, I saw on another listing that only sold for fifteen dollars, and I don't think anything was wrong with it. But that just goes to show you how when you list buy it now, especially on mugs, you're gonna make more money. Uh, I don't know, I guess it's just because, you know, some people aren't, the people aren't always e on eBay. Someone who really wants a Laurel Birch mug isn't going to be on searching for it every single day. So, put it on buy it now option, list it for 30 days, relist it once or twice if you have to, and then you'll get your full money's worth. Look at this one, $36. It's ugly. But she's pretty easy to spot because of all the, like, folk art type designs and crazy colors and uh, cats. It's just really easy to identify. So that's why I wanted to show you that. And, oh, I like this one. Okay, moving on. I only have a couple more things to show you. I learned from another YouTuber, uh, Not Your Average Housewife that I love her videos. She's funny. She's entertaining. Um, she said that this brand, Trip, T-R-I-P-P, -P, is a really good brand to look for and people go crazy over it. It's kind of like a gothic type look, I guess. <clears throat> um, you can see people pay a lot of money for it. And she said that Hot Topic sells this brand. So I don't think we have any Hot Topics in our area, so I'm not real sure if I'm going to be able to find that much of it at our thrift stores, but I know when I go home, Hot Topic is big um, in my area, so <laughs> I'll look for it then, I guess, but there you go. And I like the key words that some of these people are using, like vampire, uh, I saw rockabilly in one of them. Certain key words I'm still learning are um, good to use here. Alright, going back up. This stuff is easy to identify. Oh, let's show you the tag. Just so we know what that looks like. It's red. Oops. It's red and it just says Trip NYC, so it's pretty
pretty easy, but let's just look at it and imprint it in our minds so we know for when we see it. Here it is. There we go. Easy. Okay. <clears throat> and the last thing I have to show you that was all supposed to be part of my first video are vans. Vans have made a really big comeback. I know, like, when I was younger, a lot younger, they were in for a little bit, and we just said that they were for skaters. Now that the whole hipster thing is in, I think the hipsters are really loving the vans. The vintage ones will sell pretty well, but you ha just because you see a pair of vans, don't go out and buy them. Because some of them, like these boring looking ones, look, they're only going for like 8 to $12. And then it's not worth it, and if you're buying it, especially from a thrift store, you're not going to make a profit. So make sure that you look things up first. Um, like these are kind of crazy, the high top leopard sneakers, uh, they went for $26, they probably could have gotten more for it if they put a buy it now, um, even these are a little, I mean, kind of crazy, not really, but $22.50, you can make a little money off of those, there they are again for $38, um, but, Let's, uh, hold on. I like to do this. Let's look at what the vans look like that are selling for the most money. Okay, there's another high top for $245. Are they used? Did I click used? Yep. Okay. I wonder why those went for so much. If you know comment below and let me know. And see, look, I just said don't buy the dirty ones or the old boring looking ones. Why did these go for $180? That's just... And they're stained. More high tops, high tops. I'm definitely going to keep my app for those. Uh, why are those going for so much? Again, if you guys know anything about these, share the wealth. Let us know. That's what this is all about. What is that? That's just craziness but just like the Hawaiian shirts it just seems like the more outrageous they are um, the more that they're gonna sell for especially like I said with this whole hipster thing and they've really come back my brother has a pair so don't think that I'm talking bad about hipsters my brother went out and bought a really expensive pair of vans and I just actually they look a lot like the, these so Anyway, so that's really it for today's videos, I should say. Just keep in mind, when you're out looking at things, please, I've made this mistake so many times, make sure that you're really inspecting the items. Like, I just picked up a, another Jim Shores or Jim Shore figure, a cow, and he's big and really colorful, and I was really excited, so I picked him up, and I saw the price was $2.99, I said, no big deal. I know that these sell for a good amount of money, didn't look it up or anything, brought it home, was taking the price tags off, getting ready to uh, take a picture and list them on my eBay store, in my eBay, eBay store, and I saw that one of his little antlers, little his little horn was broken off. Minor, minor, like barely noticeable because he has so much going on. But now that you know that it's broken off, it's super, super obvious. And I'm not even, I'm probably just going to donate them back. I'm probably not going to even waste my time taking pictures and listing them because there's 10 other ones on there. And to be honest, they're not going for as much as I thought they were going for. So I'm, you know, I've been doing it now for only two months. I'm still new. I'm still making tons of mistakes. Don't get too excited when you see something in the thrift store until you really inspect it first. Look it up take your time because a lot of those mistakes like a two dollar and ninety nine cent mistake they're gonna those add up that's not the first one I've made I've made I'm trying to think what the other one oh mugs I also this is just yesterday I bought a really big hello kitty mug and I even paid a dollar ninety nine for it which is expensive for the one goodwill that I go to and I thought it was in perfect condition I just looked for chips and cracks spun it around real quick it was a really busy looking mug. I thought it was fine. Last night, went to list it, and the paint, it's not even paint, it's like a plastic, sh I don't know, whatever it is, it's, it's, it's ripped. Um, 
So it's probably worthless. Um, I might still list it because it is so large, but I don't know. It just makes me angry. So I just want to put it out there and say, you guys really got to do the same thing. Like if you're a beginner, check out your stuff before you buy it because those mistakes add up. Um, and maybe the more I pound it into you, I will pound it into my own brain and I will learn. But I just get so excited and I love throwing stuff in my cart. And <laughs> like I said, I just love this whole thing. So um, I hope you guys do also. And it's helping me pay some bills. So, you know, it's working. I'd like it to work a little bit better. But like I said, I'm new and I know this has great potential. So. Uh, that's it for today, for real this time, if I said that before. And if you like these videos, if you're still listening, please subscribe. Let me know you're out there, and I will keep up the videos, and uh, we'll talk. All right. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.